Speaking of baseball, Texas Rangers' new home taking shape quite nicely. Our Ken Molestina, in fact, got an inside look to share with all of us all the work that's going on inside the new Globe Life Field in Arlington. The project is about 70% complete. 72% to be exact, according to construction crews and Rangers team officials. They say since they broke ground on Globe Life Field back in September of 2017, they've had about 13 to 1,400 workers daily on the job. And the workday sometimes will go, you know, almost around the clock. And now, with seven months left for completion, you can finally start seeing a state of the art ballpark taking shape. A new home for the Texas Rangers boasting a 5.5 acre sized retractable roof. The massive trusses that will hold that roof are also finally going up. The first two pairs are up. Um, they're out. We've moved them out towards the west. We're currently working on the third pair. Our plan is to have all of the operable trusses up in the air by the end of October. The new ballpark is sized at 1.8 million square feet. It's bigger than the old one across the street, but it'll have 8,700 fewer seats. Max capacity here will be just over 40,000. The voters of Arlington asked for it, and their brand new covered stadium is about half a year from having its first pitch. And if you go into the Manhattan offices, they literally have a countdown clock in there. All right, so the hard deadline date is March 1st. We were told that today. When you take a look down on the field or where the field would go, it's hard to believe it now when you see all the construction. But on March 23rd, that'll be the date for the first exhibition game. That'll be against the St. Louis Cardinals. And, of course, March 31st, the official start of the 2020 season right here against the Angels. In Arlington, Ken Molestina, CBS 11 News.